Hello dear student, welcome back to MCQ practice series of Programmer Logic Controller subject. Today in this video, I will discuss part number 2. If you do not subscribe my channel, DHU Labs, please subscribe it. Now question number 1. PLC works on blank mechanism. Option A, parallel. Option B, sequential. Option C, both A and B. Option D, none of this. The answer is sequential. Actually, the PLC are designed with help of the microprocessor or microcontroller based device. And these all devices are working on based on the sequential processor. That is, they are working one by one. So, answer is option number B. When blank contacts are energized, they interrupt the power supply through them. Option A is normally open. Option B is normally closed. Option C, both A and B. And option D, none of this. The answer is normally closed, that is a NC context. The NC context initially they are closed context and when they are energized, they will change from closed to open context. So the circuit will be open it. So answer is option number B. Third number, Nano PLC has blank inputs and output spin. Option A, 16. Option B, 32. Option C, 50. Option D, that is a 70. The answer is 16. That is option number A. The nano PLC that is a very smallest PLC and it have very less amount of the input and output pin configuration. So answer is A that is a 16. Question number 4. Micro PLC has blank inputs and output spin. The option A is 16. Option B 50, Option C 32, Option D 70. The answer is C that is a 32. So the micro PLC have higher amount of the input output pin configuration compared to nano. So where the higher amount of the number of inputs and outputs operation is required, there we select micro PLC instead of the nano PLC. But this micro PLC is not used for performing the all operation of the process industry or big industry like food industry or cement industry where multi number of inputs and outputs are associated. Question number 5. Minimum PLC has blank inputs and output pins. Option A 128, Option B 2048, Option C 32, Option D 81192. The answer is option number B, 2048. 
Now question number 6. The large PLC has blank inputs and output spin. Option A 128, option B 2048, option C 1000, option D 8192. So the answer is 8192, that is the option number D. Question number 7. Small PLC have maximum blank memory. Option A, 2 kilobyte. Option B, 32 kilobyte, option C, 64 kilobyte, option D, 200 kilobytes. The answer is 2 kilobytes. The memory requirement is a very important parameter for selection criteria of the PLC. The disadvantage of this small type PLC is what? It is used up to 2 kilobytes. That means if your program size is very bigger compared to 2 kilobytes, the program is not compiled or error is coming. Question number 8. Medium PLC have maximum blank memory. A is a 2 kilobyte, B is a 32 kilobyte, C is a 64 kilobyte, D is a 200 kilobytes. So the answer is B, that is a 32 kilobytes. Question number 9. The large PLC have maximum blank memory. Option number A, 64 kilobytes. Option number B, 200 kilobytes. Option number C, 500 kilobytes. Option number D, 750 kilobytes. The answer is 750 kilobytes. The last PLC is used for different application in the industry. Most of it is used to performing the wide number of tasks. Question number 10. Full name of SFC programming language for PLC is option A, structure flow charts, option B, Sequential flow charts, option C, sequential function chart, option D, structure function charts. The answer is C number that is a sequential function charts. Please like, share, and subscribe our channel D Edu Labs. Thank you for watching.